What is up my glamorous guys and gals and non-binary pals? As you can see, I am in a different setting right now than I normally am. I am currently at the airport on my way back from Florida for a mini vacation, which is why this video is so late and I've been a little bit behind on all my videos, so I do apologize. I also apologize if I'm whispering. There's already people staring at me. <laughs> Anyway, as you guys know, I do special effects makeup and it is time to do another one for you guys. So if you did not get it from the last video, my hint was this. What is up my glamorous guys and gals and non-binary pals? Yeah, my little Don't my cats just look so adorable in their little sweaters? Um, they are the best hints in the whole entire world. I'm doing makeup. As a pumpkin this time I did one on myself and then I did one on my friend while I was here in town in Florida so you will be seeing that process it is was a little chaotic so come and join us on the journey um, before you begin watching and doing makeup make sure to hit that like button and comment and subscribe to my video and hit that button for notifications so you get notified whenever I do post without further further ado, let's stop talking and embarrassing myself out in public and get started on this video. What is up my glamorous guys and gals and non-binary pals? It is time for another spoopy lesson on Halloween. This time of course it is on pumpkins. If you didn't know already, pumpkins are actually a type of squash that we first found in America primarily in the area of Central America and Mexico. Native Americans carried pumpkin seeds into other parts of North America. They would cut pumpkins into long strips and roast them over a fire. They also dried the strips of pumpkins into mats and they ate the seeds and also used them as medicine. Columbus took pumpkin seeds back to Europe but they didn't grow well there. And then Jacques Carter, a French explorer, found pumpkins in what is now part of Canada in 1584. He called them pepons, a Greek word that means large melons. And over time, that name was changed to pumpkin. And then when colonists arrived in the US, they found pumpkins and started using it as food, just like the Native Americans did. So that's a little backstory of pumpkins, but of course we want the backstory about Halloween and why we carve pumpkins. So pumpkins or, and what we carve them into are called jack-o'-lanterns. The jack-o'-lantern has a long history with Halloween, although our favorite demonic faces haven't always been carved out of pumpkins. The origin comes from an Irish myth about stingy jack who tricked the devil for his own monetary gain. When Jack died, God didn't allow him into heaven, and the devil didn't allow him into hell. So Jack was sentenced to roam the earth for eternity. In Ireland, people started to carve demonic faces out of turnips to frighten away Jack's wandering soul. When Irish immigrants moved to the US, they began carving jack-o'-lanterns from pumpkins as they were native to the region. But how did jack-o'-lanterns become associated with Halloween? Halloween is based on an eclectic festival called Simhan, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, which is a celebration in ancient Britain and Ireland that marks the end of summer and the beginning of the new year of November 1st. This also, this also meant that Sahamin was the end of summer, like I said, in the beginning of a dark winter. So the Celtics believed evil spirits lurked in the shadows around the bonfires, so they wanted light to guide their paths to and from the bonfires. The Celtic carved faces on large turnips and then hollowed out the inside of this vegetable so a candle could sit within it. 
The light shining out through the carved faces scared away evil spirits and also showed the way to their homes for the good spirits and for the travelers. So that is one of the reasons why we would put candles into the jack-o'-lanterns or just lights in general. But again, how did this become associated with Halloween? And it was believed that during Sahamin, the souls of those who had died that year traveled to the other world and that other souls were returned to visit their homes. In the 8th century CE, the Roman Catholic Church moved All Saints Day, the day celebrating the church saints, to November 1st. This meant that All Hallows Eve, or Halloween, fell on October 31st. So traditions from Sahamin remained, such as wearing disguises to hide yourself from the souls, wandering around your home. The folklore about Jack was quickly incorporated into Halloween, and we've been carving pumpkins and turnips ever since. I know this was probably a little confusing, so I'll give you a little bit of a recap. So jack-o'-lanterns were originally brought up by Stingy Jack, who tricked the devil, and so we would carve pumpkins or squash with faces so that it would scare Jack's wandering soul. We then put candles into them, thinking that the light scared away evil souls, so we would use it to guide our way to and from home, which is why they are now called jack-o'-lanterns. And they are used originally for All Hallows Eve and the beginning of winter and end of summer for the Festival of Sahamin, which then turned into Halloween because it was moved on October 31st. I thought all of this was really cool. I knew that originally had something to do with All Hallows Eve and um, Celtic, but I never knew the actual story of Stingy Jack, so I thought that was really interesting. But yeah, that was it. Now it's time for a montage. Future Kinsey while editing, and I realized I completely forgot to do my outro video. Anyway, so those were my makeup look looks. I hope you guys liked them. Make sure to comment down below which one is your favorite and what you found the most interesting about this video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That is where I'm going to be posting all of my pictures, and you can go on there on there to vote whichever one is your favorite because I will be making one ginormous one of all of the different looks that is y'all's favorite for Halloween. That being said, don't also forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my video and hit that bell for notifications so you get notified when I do post my videos. Don't forget to message me if you guys figure out what the hint is. This one is a hard one. But yeah, hope you guys figure it out. See you later. I really apologize for not being so energetic and everything. I really hate filming in front of people. It makes me so anxious and embarrassed and I have social anxiety whenever I do it. Anyway, I needed to make an intro because I'm editing this video on the plane. Anyway, enjoy these bloopers. <laughs> Here comes the boy! Hello boy!